Hey everyone, this is Chris. Thanks a lot for clicking onto our sabbatical story channel. In my last video on mindset, we left off with two critical goals that we need to accomplish in order to be able to take a sabbatical and do it well. And that was financial and psychological freedom. Now we just launched a whole series and it's in a playlist for how to save for a sabbatical, money saving tips. But this video is going to be about psychological freedom. So let me explain what I mean by psychological freedom. There's a couple of things that make taking a sabbatical difficult from a psychological standpoint. The first is that in our society today, sabbaticals are not customary. They're not common. And so we have been trained, for lack of a better term, to work 40 hours a week, every week, with just a couple of weeks of vacation off a year and do that until we turn 65 and then we're permitted to live our days the way we want and chase our passions and check off our bucket list. So taking a sabbatical flies in the face of that status quo. We're breaking the status quo and that's not an easy thing to do from a psychological standpoint. Now my wife and I struggled a lot with this because you know, you're, you're, you're leaving a career, you're sell, in, in our case, we sold our house, we moved, and all those things, you know, all along the way, in, in the background of your psyche, you're thinking, you know, what are you doing? You can't just do this, you know, because it breaks the social mold. Next, because it breaks the social mold, we also have some outside pushback from family, from friends, from, from co-workers, that might look at you and say the same thing like what are you doing you're throwing away your career what about your future what about money what about all this stuff you can fill in the blanks and so that puts roadblocks and pressure on us to not do something like this and believe it or not there might actually even be an element of jealousy from people in your social circle who might look at that like wow I wish I could do something like that which takes me right into the next thing the belief that you can't do this is false. The belief that you can't do this lies in what I call bars or walls of air. There are social paradigms that says, for one reason or another, you can't do what you're thinking about doing. It might be the money, it might be your career, it might be your mortgage and your car payment, it might be your family, it might be, there's, there, there's a, as many examples as there are people watching this video. But I'm here to tell you right now that all of those things are absolutely surmountable and they are not actually hard barriers to you being able to accomplish something as profound and something as so awesome as taking a sabbatical. So psychological freedom breaks through these barriers. In order to do that, we have to look at the brutal truth of what these barriers actually are. Now, some of these barriers might be real. For example, you have to pay for your sabbatical, and if you don't have the money, we're gonna handle that on how to save for a sabbatical in that series, and I encourage you to go watch those videos. And also, our video on money mindset, OODA loop, which is how we make decisions, and uh, also mindset. Those are critical for getting our minds jailbroken in order to do the things we need to do in order to save for a sabbatical. So going back to breaking down these barriers, the first thing that we need to do is look at the brutal truth of what it is that is stopping us from doing this. And it could be anything. It could be our career, our job, or whatever. So we might have thoughts that, man, I can't do this because it might ruin my career. And that is absolutely false. You can absolutely get back in the job for us whenever you're back from your sabbatical, if that's what you even decide to do. Of course, taking a sabbatical might take your life in a whole new direction. You're going to live your passions, you're going to do what you want to do, and that could turn into a business or a side income that you might do full time for the rest of your life. And that's why taking a sabbatical is so life changing. That's why I'm making these videos, because we want to help change lives. Once you've had a chance to take a look at all the things that you can identify, and I encourage you to write it down, write it down on a piece of paper, write down all the things that you think are keeping you from taking a sabbatical. And then I want you to then 
look at each one of them and decide which one of them are actual concrete hard barriers that's stopping you from doing this right now. An example of that might be, well, I need X number of dollars to take a year off and I don't have it. That's a barrier that is surmountable. Then I want you to identify the barriers that are actually walls of error. And that's in essence, it's the things that are like, I'm going to ruin my career or you know, what about, you know, my house or what about my car payment? What about whatever? There's a thousand different things that you can do with those items to absolutely make those barriers disappear from both a psychological and a real sense as well. So finally, the last piece of advice I can give for help, helping to jailbreak your mind and getting you past these things that make you believe that you can't do this is to look at these things and realize a very simple truth. There are no rules. Even though society puts rules in front of us that makes us believe that we can and can't do things or that we're, our life is supposed to go in a specific direction, there are no rules. Do this. Think about the people who you believe are extraordinary. It could be anybody. It could be Steve Jobs. It could be, you know, anybody. Fill in the blank. There's lots of really extraordinary people out there. And look into how they live their lives. And the chances are they broke many of the rules that we live by. In other words, they did something that we might look at like, well, I could never do that. Well, yeah, you can. It's just a matter of deciding to do it. That is a guiding light to helping you realize that there really are no rules. You can decide what you want to do. If you want to do it, even if it breaks the social norms, do not let that stop you or even slow you down. Again, going back to my wife and I, we struggled with this when we first started talking about taking a sabbatical. You know, what about our careers? What about our jobs? What about our family? What about all these things? What about our future? What's going to happen afterwards? You know what? You're not going to have the answers to every single thing. But you don't have to see 10 miles down the road to get to the grocery store. You only have to see the next 100 feet in front of you. And that is the essence of being able to do something like this. Start walking in the direction of a sabbatical, step by step, little by little, even if it takes you off the well-worn path. That makes all the difference. When you start going down the road of a sabbatical, it's going to take you off the well-worn path. It's going to take you outside of the status quo. That's kind of like walking upstream, but it makes all the difference. Eventually, you're going to arrive where you wanted to arrive at, which in this case could be a sabbatical or it could be anything. But it starts with breaking down the fictitious rules of life that you believe are there and really aren't. I hope that makes sense. I'm doing everything I can here to get you down the path of a sabbatical, just like what we did. And I'm trying to explain it in a way that we experienced it ourselves. At the end of the day, it's Thursday and I'm at a beautiful place. It worked for us and I really, really, really want it to work for you and that's why I'm doing these videos. If I can help one person, just one, any one of you out there, take a sabbatical and I can hear about that story, I'd be so happy and that's the whole reason we're doing this. Okay guys, well that's psychological freedom. Break out, see the things that are around you for what they are. They're not rules. You don't have to work until you're 65 years old. You don't have to wait until then to chase your passions. You can do it now and you can do it consciously and you can make cha changes in your life and make new decisions that will enable you to get there. Okay guys? Well, I'm gonna get back to my sabbatical. So until next time, I'll see you on sabbatical.